This is Ken Rockwell with KenRockwell.com and KenRockwell.tv. Let's see what Apple has sent me today. They sent me this great box, which I believe is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. But let's find out. Open her up. The reason for these scary warnings is, yes, it has some very powerful lithium batteries in here, which are important to know in shipping because you don't want them to go in the wrong part of the airplane if anything was wrong. These boxes are brilliant. You'll notice that no matter what happens in shipping, this box would be totally folded, spindled, mutilated, and dropped, and has at least a half an inch of space on every side to ensure that your iPhone is going to arrive with its box in absolutely perfect condition. The way you open this is you flip this open like this. Can I show this here on camera? Yes. Here we go. You flatten those out. You do that. And then when you do that, your iPhone is free to be released. Oh, oh, I got a gold one. Is this a beautiful work of art or what? Pull that. I don't know if I'm pulling in the right way, but here we go. Gotta love that. Black box. Notice it's a black box. Is that new? I don't know. I get more excited by the products, but the boxing itself is just a beautiful thing. As a kid, I remember I always used to go to the Museum of Modern Art, look at the works of modern artists by, like, Mondrian and... and, and (laughs) And modern design by uh, people like Richard Sapper and, and those guys. And we get that all now from Apple at a reasonable price. You used to pay tens of thousands of dollars to get things by those guys. Ah, look at the box. It's got an indentation here to make sure that your lenses. Is this beautiful? I don't know what else I can open that it actually looks so beautiful. And that includes things like Leica cameras. to open this well you know sure why not all in the interest of television here oh is that it okay now the back now interesting the back is actually a matte finish it's glossy here at the apple logo but the rest of it is matte and these as we've learned are all machined off this this is all the same piece of glass it's not simply glued on it's the same piece of glass these are beautiful even if you didn't Even if you didn't want to use this phone, in 10,000 years when someone finds a stainless steel and glass beauty, it should probably be, well, 10,000 years I can't vouch, but it'll probably be in pretty darn good shape because it won't naturally erode. It'll still be a work of art. We have some paperwork. And what goodies do we get here? Aha! It's got a bigger battery. Look at this. It's Oh, and it looks like a USB-C charger. Can we read this stuff? Can we read the bottom here? Can I zoom in? Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to do this on television? What did I get here? I got up like ah, gotta love this. You can read the certifications. Look at that. It's a model A1720. It's a universal input, works worldwide, and the output is three amperes at five volts or nine volts at two amperes. I bet you this is gonna be US three. Ah! Look at that. This one's made in India. How's that for news people? We've got that, we've got a charge cord. Let's see what we get for our charge cord. Our charge cord is ah I love the lightning connector. And on the other end, USB-C. This is beautiful. So I'm going to presume that our connector is still the beloved lightning connector. And the reason I love it is, is it's bulletproof. It doesn't get dirty. It just goes in. It goes out. It comes out with a sharp click. It goes in both ways. It's not like the USB connectors, which sometimes go only one way. And even if they go in two ways, they never really feel that well. They never really work that well. They're never really that solid. You never really know if they're in or not. These it's just a work of art. I used to work with the military and the connectors there. We pay thousands of dollars a piece just for electrical connectors, just to get them to work almost as well. You see how this has a little indentation there? That's the click. This is, I presume, probably solid stainless or brass. And there's all the connections. So we've got a charge cable, but I presume any lightning charge cable will work. And is that it? No, it's not, because here are our, our I'm not sure what we call them today. Are they ear pods, ear buds? Honestly, I just love this stuff. I don't necessarily know the name offhand. It's got a volume control on it. Ah, there we go. The one thing I do miss is, is older models used to include this, not in this throwaway paper, but used to include it in a beautiful sealed snapping plastic clear case. So you could wrap them up in the plastic case, snap it together, put it in your pocket. They wouldn't get dirty or soiled or wet Uh, today. What you wind up doing is I personally, I take these, wrap them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, throw that in my pocket. It was more elegant to have the plastic case. But guess what? The plastic case only came with the 3.5 millimeter plugged ear pods or earbuds or whatever we call them. I still use my plastic cases from my older iPhones to carry these earbuds. So how cool is that? So that's a quick look at an unboxing of an iPhone. Does it tell us which model this is? Because I know which model it is. 
oh, this box is so solid. This has weight to it. Look how thick the cardboard is. And this is solid cardboard. This is solid fiberboard or cardboard. It is not corrugated. And again, these don't enter the waste stream. I save these forever with these instruments. I have a whole collection of this going back to, I don't know, my earliest iPad or iPhone that I bought. Kind of like a little miniature art museum to save these things. This is plastic here. I don't even know what this is. It almost looks like it's 3D printed, to be honest. It's a beautiful thing. And this is, oh, it's a 512 gigabyte iPhone Pro Max. That's the king. Ah, and they're ear pods with lightning connector. In fact, just for reference, here we go, so forth and so on. And that's it. That is a quick look at an unboxing of an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is Ken Rockwell with KenRockwell.com and KenRockwell.tv.